In this video, we'll take a look at how you can securely wipe an external hard drive or USB for free. This tool uses advanced shredding algorithms which range from quick one pass zeros to US Department of Defense erasing patterns. So let's open up File Explorer. And for this demo, you'll see in my computer that I have two 16 gig USBs connected. The first USB is just called USB drive and has no data on it as it's brand new. The second USB I've called USB with data. And as you can see, I've put some test data on this drive. Checking the properties of the USB, you can see that it has 7.3 gig of data on. And this is the drive we're going to use to wipe with our free tool. So let's close this window and open up an internet browser. and do a search for disk wipe. And from the results, we'll select the first link called disk wipe free software from diskwipe.org. Disk wipe is a portable tool which doesn't need to be installed and will permanently wipe sensitive data on partitions and disk volumes. So let's go up to the top right hand corner and go to download. This tool is only able to run on Windows, so let's click on the download link. This will go off and start the download of Disk Wipe. Once that's downloaded, I'll minimize my browser. And I'll go into my downloads folder. And run the Disk Wipe executable. Being a portable application, it will load straight away. As you can see, it picks up my local C and D drives along with the two USBs that I have connected. If you click on the brand new USB drive and go to view data, this will bring up a new window which shows the content of the disk and raw binary data. As you can see, the USB shows all zeros, which would mean no data is on it. Apart from some binary data, which represents that no name has been given to the drive as it's brand new. Scrolling down, you can see that the USB shows all zeros for its binary data. Let's close out of this. This time we'll select the USB with data drive and go to view data. Here you'll see that lots of data is on the USB and this is what we want to securely wipe so no data remains on the USB drive. So this is the USB drive we'll use for the demo wipe. Let's close out of this. If you go to settings at the top, this opens a new window. Here you can skip the wizard pages and create a volume label for the drive you want to wipe. I'll leave those defaults as they are. The thread priority will set the level of processor power given to running the disk wiping process. Setting it to lowest or lower means that other running applications which are usually set to default should be able to run fine while a disk wiping process is taking place. Setting it to higher or highest could easily make your whole system slow and sluggish since processor power is primarily given to the disk wipe, so it might be wise to leave it at default. Personally, I wouldn't have any other applications open while performing a disk wipe. I'm going to leave that on normal and select OK to close out of this. So with the USB with data drive selected, I'm going to go up to the disk wipe option. A window will pop up asking you to select a file system. My USB is already NTFS, so I'm going to select this. If you're not sure which file system to choose, go into Windows Explorer and check the properties of the drive you want to format, and that will tell you which file system it's already using. Select Next. Now you'll see a number of different erasing patterns that are used to wipe the data on the drive you've selected. These range from quick disk wiping to jobs that will take a lot longer. For instance, DOD 5220 is a US Department of Defense secure data deletion recommendation. It's a three pass method, which means data is overwritten three times. First pass with all ones, second pass with all zeros, and third time it overwrites with random ones and zeros. Likewise, the Gutman method specifies overwriting the data for 35 times until completion. Both of these methods can take a long time to run. For the purpose of this demo, I'll stick with the first erasing pattern, which is one pass zeros. I'll select next. 
Now you'll get a warning telling you that all the data will be destroyed on the drive you've selected. Always double check you have the correct drive selected and take a backup of any existing data on the drive if you still need some or all of it. To confirm, type in Erase All, then select Finish. Again it will prompt you to confirm the format so select Yes to this. OK, that will start the process to erase all the data on the drive. It will start by formatting the drive and then perform a secure erase of the data. Now this will take time to complete this process and each computer is different so timings will differ. I'll let this run and come back to it once it's finished. So that's finished and you can see it took 2 hours and 2 minutes to erase the 16 gig USB drive. So as you can see, this can take a while. And if we go into File Explorer, you'll be able to see that it's renamed the drive to the default label of blank. And going into the drive, you'll see all the data has been removed. And a refresh on the drive and disk wipe will show the updated blank label. So I hope you found this useful. Thanks for watching and don't forget to leave a like on this video and subscribe for more tutorials.